Hello again, and welcome to another installment of our online children's moment. My name is Pierce Fetters, and I head up the family ministries at the Chicago Temple, and it's so good to have you with me for another one of these children's moments. Now, we're going to start by playing a little guessing game. Now, I know you're not here with me, so I'm going to pause after asking some of these questions as you try and guess what is in this wooden container. Now, the first clue is, I keep it in the kitchen. I keep it in the kitchen. That's the first clue, okay? The second clue, I'm gonna try and hold it close so you can hear it. If I shake it, it sounds a little bit like a maraca or one of those shakers, so there's something maybe small inside. And the last clue is, I use it to season food. I use it to season food. All right, now, if you've got all your guesses in, I'll show you. What's inside it is salt. Salt. I'm sure you've used salt before or have seen salt before. It's often on tables. It's beside pepper. And we often use salt to what we call season our food. There are other seasonings that we might sometimes use, like pepper or chili powder or garlic powder. But our most common seasoning ingredient often is salt. Now, it's a bit hard to describe what salt tastes like. Because often, when we're describing salt, like say, I try a little bit of this, on its own, it doesn't taste very good. It tastes salty. We have trouble using other words than the word itself to describe it. Because salt often boosts the flavor of what we are eating. And it reminded me of our scripture passage today, because in our scripture passage today, it's a continuation of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Last week, we talked about the Beatitudes in Sunday School. Well, in this passage from Matthew 5, verses 13 to 16, Jesus talks about salt. Here's what Jesus says. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt were to lose its saltiness, were to lose its flavor, how would it become salty again? It would be good for nothing except to be thrown away and trampled under people's feet. You also are the light of the world, a city on top of a hill that can't be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a basket. Instead, they put it on top of a lampstand and it shines brightly so all who are in the house can see. In the same way, let your light shine before people so they can see the good things you do and praise your name. It's an interesting passage because it talks about if this salt here were to lose its saltiness, do you think I'd use it in cooking anymore? No, I wouldn't because it would have lost its purpose. You see, it's hard to describe salt without saying it tastes like salt or it tastes salty. In the same way, Jesus wants our lives to be similar. That in the way that we act, in the way that we live, people are tasting, they are seeing Jesus in our life. So it's hard for them to even describe us without mentioning Jesus or without mentioning that we go to a church, that we believe in Jesus, that we're a Christian, that we live and act in a certain way. It should be so visible and tangible, right? We should taste and see it in everything that we do, that Jesus has influenced us because Jesus has loved us and shown us a way to live. And so we too respond. And you know what? When I have a meal, I want salt in it. You know, I sometimes add a little bit of salt to my meal. And what we're hoping is as people see our lives and see the way we act and the way we live, they say, hey, I want some of that too, right? And so we can sprinkle some salt here, sprinkle some salt there, and help other people see the love of Jesus Christ so that they recognize they want that saltiness, maybe we could say, in their life as well. So this week, in all that we do, my hope is that we can be that salt and light. We can live in a way that people can tangibly see Jesus Christ in us, and they'll want to live in that same way. So thanks for joining me this week for our lesson. Before we go, let me pray for us. 
Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for the Word of God and how you gave us really good applications and understandings by using themes like salt and light. Things that we can easily understand and see the difference salt makes in our food in the same way we need to be making that difference in other people's lives as Christians. So help us to be the salt and light, sharing your love and your truth in this world. It's in your son's holy name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful week. I hope to see many of you in Sunday school. And guess what? I'll see you next time. Bye.